Just Drinking's back with Bacardi, the eight-year sherry cask finished. Yeah, baby. It's been a while since we've had Bacardi. It has. It, but, it but honestly they're back. has been a while. They are back, and we have their sherry cask finished, which nope. is a rare one for them because it is a limited edition. So, going through this review, you have to know that if you find it, you got to pick it up because they only have a limited amount. They do. In fact, we picked up the very last two bottles at Benny's in Chicago. Boom. Got it. There's two left. We got them. We got them here. You guys got to get out there, hunt down some bottles, because when they're gone, they're gone yes. until the next year when they have another batch come out. And it's still in small batches. Yep. So this is really fun. I'm really excited we got this. We met them at Chicago Rum Fest. We did. Got to hang out with them a little bit. So it was really fun. Obviously, Royer has his problems with Bacardi. He put <laughs> aside to hang out with them a little bit. <laughs> I so did. I good times we had there. Had a lot of fun. I'm really excited to get in this one. So we've got a 40% 80 proof yep. Bacardi rum. Yep. There we go. And it's, it's eight year, right? It's their Reserva Ocho. Reserva Ocho. Right. Now, they have a little thing going on well, here. they've got a card here, They've too. got a card. I don't want to read the card. I don't want to spoil really? it for people. No, no. If, if you want to know what's in this magical card, you got to find it. you got to find it. That's just what it is. Sounds like a challenge. But I think I'm going to read the back. Okay, read the back. Here we go. Tell a story, Robert. This is the story of our rich, characterful rum mingling with subtle notes of sweet sherry after aging a minimum of eight years in American oak barrels. The rum is blended and finished in Oloroso sherry casks giving it a distinctive sweet velvety texture. Well, well um, that, well, that sounds delicious well, to me. Well, my goodness, doesn't love a little velvety <laughs> texture <laughs> right. in their rum, it's right? got the sherry cast thing going on. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm feeling like we got to break into this bottle. But before we do, make sure that if you guys are new to the channel that you hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you love drinking rum every single week or maybe just once in a while, but you love hearing about new rums every single week. Make sure you join us here each and every week as we're live and putting out new videos all the time to keep you guys on top of the newest and greatest rums out there. We're doing it, doing it for you. All right, let's break into it here. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's a nice sound. You know to what that it. said? Oh, you, you heard the sound? I too? heard the sound. Did you? I did. Did it say, there's a party in here? Come on in. <laughs> That's exactly Is that what, what you I heard? heard. That That's exactly what, I heard. what I heard. Yeah. I hear, though, that doesn't get picked up over recording. You have to be oh. in person. So you got to actually have the bottle to hear it. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Fact. All Fun right. Fact for you. I'm excited. Yes. This is going to be amazing. I, I honestly, it's been so long since we've had a Bacardi product. I mean, I think it's been months. Oh, since we've it's, had anything. It's been, a, it's been a minute. I think Chicago Rum Fest was the last time that we had Bacardi. Yeah, actually, I agree. So. I think you can absolutely pick up the sherry cask. I think yep. that's what we're, I think that's definitely what we're picking up. Are you sure it's up. not just sherry when she was mixing it? Got a little bit of her perfume in there and that's what you're picking up? <laughs> Wouldn't that be an interesting? Well, I'm just saying, it's I, not impossible. Yeah, maybe sherry's the one blending these. That's what I'm guessing. I think that's what it takes to be a sherry cask, is sherry has to blend them. <laughs> it's actually a name, not a thing. Sherry yeah. cask. We're, 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 we got to inform everyone <laughs> they got it all wrong. You heard? That's, that makes sense. That's why it's limited edition, because she can only make There's so many so bottles. Many. This is making right? so oh, much it sense is. now. It is. Oh it's, my it's gosh. Not, I thought it was like, you know, a barrel type cast no, thing. But no. no, now that I'm rethinking this, I'm wondering if it isn't actually a person. You know, Sherry it absolutely cast. is. I'm pretty sure we, we've known this all our lives. <laughs> and for some reason, we just let society tell us that it wasn't. No, yeah. But they're wrong. Don't oh, let the man tell you otherwise. <laughs> all right, let's, let's taste what Sherry's got going on here. I do pick up the sherry notes, but I also pick up uh, like a spice to it, mm -hmm. you know? So I think what you're picking up is kind of a charred oak flavor. I think yeah. it's like a charred oak and then yep. it has that velvety texture to it yep. that gives it kind of a, uh, a floral aroma that goes There's down the floral, with it. Yep. And I think that's just kind of like a charred oak with that velvety finish mixture there kind of gives it that like burnt floral kind of a aspect to it. Yeah, I, it's got, for me, it's like a low to medium heat. Um, it's not real sharp. I think it does have a velvety texture to it going yeah. on there. I think it's got a little bit of peppery note to it. Light pepper. Yeah, uh, light, real light. Real pepper. light pepper. I think it goes down. I think it goes down pretty well. I think it stays pretty smooth. It's not super dry. I think it's just that pepperiness with the charred oak, kind of a floral, florally velvety yep. uh, finish um, that gives you kind of. The Are you picking there. up the sherry notes on it? I think a little bit of sherry notes. You can tell that it, it was done in sherry cast. I think I can tell yep. a little bit of that sweetness comes with that too. All right. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be what they recommend to do with this. But you know what we're doing next. Oh, I know what we're doing next. Why don't you let them know? If you guys are new to the channel, we're going to mix it with Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi. We do this with every single rum. We we definitely recommend you guys stay and check this out. Even if you don't do this, this just tells us a general mixability with a sweet cocktail mixer. Will the flavors stay together or separate? That kind of thing. We know there's better cocktails. We know most people are probably just going to drink it on their own. But 
We like to do this because most backyard rum drinkers getting into these rums are gonna try it this way and we wanna give you guys a little bit of an outline of what that will look like to let you know what you're purchasing and making sure you're spending your hard earned money on something that you can appreciate. All right, so we got this mixed up with Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi, we're yeah. using our clear ice. I think if I know anything about Bacardi, right. I think this is gonna mix well, but we're gonna find yeah. out. I'm liking it. Oh, I love it. I think it's amazing. <laughs> I'm liking it. Here's the thing. Bacardi being a big brand that it is, they yep. know that a lot of people who drink their rums are going to be some of those younger palates, those people that are yep. getting into rums and expanding from a regular Bacardi spice to maybe this as their next level. And it pairs delicious with a Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi. I agree. The flavors blend. It's super tasty. Yeah. It's got that velvety notes to it, a little bit of the sweetness, that sherry sweetness sticks with it. You lose the charcoal oak. Yep. It becomes more of a light, smooth Ac oak. Actually, I think it brings more of the positive flavors out Exactly. when you mix this in with the Pepsi. I think Nicole. you lose a little bit of the burnt charred yes. aspect of it. Becomes like a smooth oak, velvety finish. Yeah. And this it just is blends a very super well. easy drink. And right with the here. sweetness of the pop mixed in there, I think it goes together super well. I mean, it, it goes together like Royer, oh, yeah. like Royer and, and popsicles. I mean, if you've ever seen Royer <laughs> eat a popsicle, Love trust em. me, Love it's em. intense. So I think that it's really good. They did a great job here. Oh yeah, I absolutely agree, hundred percent. I think they did a really good job. All right. With that being said. That being said. Your shirt looks great today. I know, right? So good. Well, I what is this texture? This is a different feel. Look at this. Uh -huh. What is this? What are we branding here today? <laughs> yeah. We get this. Oh, Croft and Barrow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah right. right. Yeah. Nothing but the best. Size small. Right. Man, you've been slimming, man. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Been nice. dieting, walking lots. Drinking lots of rum. Cardio. Lots of rum. It's that rum diet. It's, it's a rum diet. <laughs> right. I want to know how much you're going to pay for this bottle of rum. Well, how much do you think? I think it being a Bacardi product, the next step up, if I'm comparing say, it to other big is, brands. Yeah, remember, Sherry Cass brought this out. Yeah, I'm going to call it a $40 bottle of rum. You're a little high. Am I a little high? You are 36. a little high. Still a little high. 32 33 bucks. 33. Is 33 what we paid dollars. For this year bottle. Okay, so a $33 price point. Nice. Yep. I think that's a great price point. Like 30 we said to 40 before. bucks. Yep, 30 to 40 you, bucks. You get a great blend of rums between 30 and 40 from the big brands to the craft distillers. I think it's a great spot to be experimenting yep. with rum. So great price point. I like that they kept it a little bit lower, especially for it being a limited edition, keeping it at $33. Yep. I think that's great. Absolutely. It would be interesting to do a blind taste test. Blind. Be because you can pretty much tell that this is a Bacardi product. Just so you know, mm -hmm. I can drink rum with my eyes closed as a talent. Really? Yeah. I we'll have to see that I don't sometime. even need eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. And I can drink it. Wow. Let's well, run another I've video. Ne I've Whoa. never seen that before. Whoa. I'm not trying to over impress the audience, so let's move on before we get way out of hand here. Anybody that's getting uh, a Bacardi, you're going to get what you know you expect yep. and going to be able to have a positive experience. Yeah, so, absolutely. As long as you drink responsibly. Unless you drink unresponsibly, irresponsibly, uh, you might not have a great yeah, experience. That's on you. But that's on you, not the rum, no. right? I'm pretty yeah. sure they got a bunch of disclosures somewhere that says that, <laughs> um, so whatever. Fleet of lawyers oh, that say, yeah, that's on you. Fantastic. All right, we're getting way side. Are we? I feel like, I feel like right we're on point. Uh, I feel like we're exactly uh, where we need to be. I'm not sure. As you can tell, as you drink more <laughs> rum, things just always seem to get intensified. Oh, they do. As you drink and you more. never know where it's going to go. And right? You never know where you're going to go. So end that's up. why you should join and subscribe. Join us on our lives on Wednesday night, right? right? 7, 7 p.m. Tonight's Wednesday a Wednesday. Night. We're going to be is. there. It's going to be fun. It will. It'll be a blast. Come join us. That is Bacardi eight year aged sherry cask finished rum. Make sure you guys check your local liquor stores, check them out online, find yourself a bottle, don't take our word for it, get them before they're gone, and tell us what you think about it today. I just want to say thanks, Sherry Cask. If you guys like what we did and you think we should interview Sherry Cass on this show, oh, make sure that you guys fun. subscribe to the YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up. We have a great time here reviewing different rums for you each and every week. We got links down below. Uh, go check those out. We've got a website. We've got a Facebook group that we love to do stuff in all parts of the week when we're not on the show, as well as we've got a TikTok and Instagram and a Patreon where if you would like to support us and support the advocacy for going and trying new rums, right? We want to make sure you guys are getting to try the best. If you align with that, we would love for you to go check out our tiers on there as well. We just appreciate you guys hanging out with us and having a great time. I'm that. just going to say, right now, this is the rum channel that got it going on. Got it going on. It's right. got it going on. That's right. We're going to make a rap album that's coming to you soon. <laughs> Next. Just, just about yeah, as Coming soon. As, next. Coming soon. It's going to be coming soon like our website was for years. <laughs> years. But it's there now. So it, it is. Happen. Hey, you know, you, you never know, know what's going to happen. You never know. So with that, Royer, we appreciate you guys. Let's get them home safe. Always drink responsibly. Never drink and drive. And no rums or harm during the making of this video. Not at all. We'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Wow.